Dear readers of the Journal of Clinical Orthodontics, I'd like to present you a new component, the digital ortho labs. Part one is about bone-borne rapid parallel expanders, the so virtual way. In another part of this component, we will show you in detail how to digitally place tags by selecting a screw out of a library and insert it digitally in the computer. This procedure is followed by an automatic um, pro process designing an insertion guide, which is quite helpful in precisely placing uh, a mini screw at the pallet chair side. As you can see in this short sequence, with around 50 to 100 rounds per minute and with a vertical stop, the screw is inserted. What it's necessary to fit on top your bone bone expander. We have seen many different designs on bone bone expander through the last one or two decades, but most expanders have similar parts. You have tabs on top of the tabs, you have so-called abutments. The abutments are connected to the expansion screw with so-called connectors. There are different expansion screws available and in the posterior area to avoid tipping while activating uh, the expander, you have either uh, molar pads or another set of mini screws. To perform that digitally on your laptop, you need a software. In my short video, I use a software called OnyxF. Most softwares uh, have similar function, but I have to choose one and it's OnyxF. When we start, the screws are already placed and I will start with using molar pads. I, I just show you how to work with different pieces and parts. So I click on molar band and uh, I select a half band, just a, a lingual pad. This is when you just click on the tools and on the band button, it's more or less automatically adapted. So uh, this is part number one. After we have placed the band, the molar pad, I click on 3D objects. And what we need uh, as a 3D object is now an abutment because we have the tags already in the bone and on top of the tag, we need an abutment. So we select out of the 3D object list an abutment. This is automatically transferred to the corresponding tag. So now we have the tags, the abutments, and the palatal molar pads. So what else do we need? We need another 3D objects. So we click on 3D objects and what do we select? We ex select an expansion screw. There are many available. I selected a quite classical Hyrix expansion screw and by clicking on the object, it's added. Now we have to connect the abutments and the, um, the expansion screw with so-called connectors. So I click on the field called connector. By selecting the numbers or changing the numbers, I can make the connectors wider, bigger, or whatsoever. I personally like quite robust, rigid um, connectors. So I, I use these numbers. When I have one connector, I can just multiply it and uh, mirror it to the other side. So this is now what we have. We have the tabs, abutments, the connectors, hold, the uh, expansion screw, and we have the molar pads. So now we need another two connectors to connect the expansion screw and the molar pads. We mirror it again. I use some different numbers here. You can change it to your personal preference. Uh, if you do not like to print out a model to, to fit it, you can make a small auxiliary. It, it's called a welding or tech welding bar, which is really thin and holds the left and the right side together. So you could later on after metal printing tech weld your Hyrex screw uh, quite easily. So this is the basic design, how it looks like. I, I, I selected the abutments, the Hyrex screw, the molar pads, and in between the different parts, I connected all these with so-called connectors. And in the final step, I click on calculate, and then my design is rendered. And um, after I have rendered it, I can export it. And the whole process is now shown here in a very short video. We have the bone on top of the bone. I have my virtual, my digital gingiva. The mini screws are inverted. On top of the mini screws, we get out of the 3D object library abutments, a Hyrex screw, 
two connectors, which I personally like quite rigid. We get connectors to the molar pads and I add two molar pads. You can change this design by selecting different 3D objects or delete some or erase some 3D object. Um, uh, the limit is only your personal imagination and creativity. This is how it looks like. This was the basic design. This is after rendering. Then we uploaded it to a metal printing service, a selective metal uh, laser melting service. And within 24 or 48 hours, you will get it back like this. And I think this is the future. You get your own technician. You design it in your computer. Uh, it goes so quick. It's I would say it's quite easy to learn. And then it's getting metal printed. It's fully individualized, patient-centered treatment. And I'm enthusiastic to be allowed to show you more and more of these small digital gadgets. And I believe this is the reality and the future of our wonderful profession.